Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Environmental Resource Environmental resources are useful things occurring naturally within a particular geographical location which are of benefit to man, animals and plants. There are types of environmental resources. There are five main environmental resources and these are 1. Atmospheric resources 2. Water resources 3. Vegetation resources 4. Human resources 5. Mineral resources 6. Land resources Looking at atmospheric resources, these are resources that have elements such as wind, water, sunlight, and gases which are of benefit to man, animals, and plants. Resources of the atmosphere include sunlight, oxygen, carbon dioxide, wind, nitrogen, ozone, water vapor, smoke, dust particles, and some inert gases like neon, argon, helium, and so on. Water Resources Importance of water resources to man 1. Sources of food supply Fishing in oceans, lakes and rivers are known to provide food for man. 2. Generation of hydroelectric power 3. Agricultural purposes Water from rivers, lakes, wells, boreholes and so on are used for irrigation purposes. 4. Medium of transportation Rivers, example rivers, Benue and Niger, lakes and oceans provide a useful medium by which people can move from one place to another. 5. Domestic use. Water from lakes, rain, rivers, boreholes are used for cooking, washing, bathing and drinking. 6. Industrial use. Water from rivers, lakes, boreholes is used by textile, brewery and chemical industries for production. 7. Provision of employment. Oceans, lakes and rivers also provide people with jobs, example fishermen, canoe and shipbuilders. 8. Recreation and tourism. Water in lakes, oceans and rivers is used by people for sports, example swimming, diving, etc. Vegetation resources. Vegetation resources include all the resources one can get from the forest and savanna for the benefit of man, animal, and plants. These include timber, roots, leaves, backs of trees, latex, fruits, fiber, firewood, wild animals, etc. Importance of these include 1. Sources of food supply. Resources like fruits, example mango, oranges, apples, leaves in form of vegetables, bush meats, from wild animals provide food for man. 2. Sources of timber. Timber like iroko, obech, mahogany and so on are sources of planks, plywood and so on. 3. Medicinal herbs. Leaves, roots and backs of some trees are used to prepare medicinal herbs. 4. Sources of firewood. Firewood or fuel wood is used to provide fuel for cooking food, warming the body during cold weather and for drying fish. 5. Development of game reserves. Forest and savanna are the home of wildlife which can serve as game reserves. Example, Yankari Game Reserve. 6. Employment. Forest provides employment to some people. Example, forest guard, sun millers, and hunters. 7. Prevention of erosion. Leaves of plants and grasses help to prevent water and wind erosion. 8. Provision of furniture. Timber derived from the forest is sewn into planks and plywood, used in making chairs, tables, doors, and windows. Human Resources Population of a country could be classified or distributed into the following categories. Sex, age, geographical and occupational, based on the data obtained from population census. 1. Sex Distribution First of all, first of all, there are factors which determine the size of human resources. These include 1. Birth rate or natality, 2. Death rate or mortality, 3. 
migration, 4 fertility, 5 medical facilities, 6 education, etc. Population classification or distribution could be classified or distributed into one sex distribution. This shows how many males and females are in a country in a particular period. Two, age distribution. This refers to the breakdown of the population of a particular people into age groups. This could be zero to five years, which is the preschool age. Example, six to 11 years, the primary school age group. 12 to 16 years, secondary or post-primary school age group, 17 to 21, post-secondary or higher institution age group, 22 to 55 years, working population or labor force age group, 56 and above, old age group. 3. Occupational distribution. Occupational distribution is the breaking down of the population of a country into activities engaged in by men and women to earn their living. 4. Geographical distribution. This refers to the breakdown of the population of a country into geographical areas. People of a country are scattered into different areas by geographical, historical, economic, and social factors. Mineral resources. Minerals, unlike other resources, are non-renewable resources because they are exhausted. They cannot be replaced. Mineral resources are grouped into the following. 1. Mineral fuels such as petroleum, coal, and natural gas. 2. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals. 3. Industrial metals. 4. Ornamental minerals. Example, gold, silver, diamond. Importance of mineral resources. 1. Sources of fuel. 2. Construction purpose. 3. Industrial development. 4. Sources of ornamentals. Examples of minerals like gold, silver, bronze are used as ornamental wares or jewelry. 5. Sources of foreign exchange. 6. Provision of employment. People engaged in the mining of these minerals get jobs as miners, drillers, engineers, and so on. 7. Provision of basic amenities. Amenities and infrastructures like electricity, pipe and water, roads, telephone, and so on are provided in areas where mining takes place.